Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. So in today's lecture, we are studying about this reaction. See here, this is a question from GET 2023 question paper. Okay, question number 11. You can see this question. Here we have given a dialdehyde. Okay, and this is treated with TiCl3 DME2, then ZnCu, and then DME at room temperature. And what is the product we have to answer? Okay, so actually this is the example of McMurray coupling reaction or we can say actually it is Penacol reaction. Okay, so what is McMurray reaction? What is Penacol reaction? First of all, we will have to understand this. Okay, so in today's lecture, we will study about especially McMurray reaction and in between we will see what is the Penacol reaction and then we will see all the examples given in the reference book from where this example has been taken. Okay, so all the things we will consider in this lecture. Okay, so I am starting this reaction. So understand, first of all, what is McMurray coupling reaction? It is actually a very important reaction. And if you have seen the question papers, you have seen that several times questions are asked from CSI net as well as in GET exam from McMurray coupling reaction. Actually, it is the olefination of carbonyl compounds. Means to say, we are changing CHO group to C double bond C group. Okay. It means two CHO groups are given to us. Okay. We can take same compound or we can take two different compounds. Okay. Then we are getting a product like this C double bond C. This type of reaction is known as McMurray coupling reaction. And what is the reason behind it? So the reason it for it is TiCl3 in presence of LiAlH4 or TiCl3 in presence of zinc Cu. Okay. Actually, this reaction is done with the Ti in zero state. It means we want a zero valent titanium for the conversion of the aldehydes to the olefins. Okay. And this titanium we get from TiCl3. Okay. So we are taking here TiCl3 or titanium in plus 3 oxidation state. And then we are reducing it with the help of either lithium aluminium hydride. Okay. Or with the help of zinc Cu. Okay. So any of these we can take and we will have to reduce this TiCl3 firstly to Ti0. And by this we are getting this type of conversion. Okay. So, what is happening? Suppose we have given a carbonyl compound like this. So, when it is treated with TiCl3 in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride or zinc Cu and then secondly it is treated with H2O, then what is happening to such type of carbonyl compound molecule like this. Okay. This will react, okay, this bond will break up and a new bond is formed between this carbon and this carbon, okay. So, we are getting a product like this. Here, a new bond is formed between two molecules. So, we are calling this a coupling reaction, okay. One more example, see here. Suppose we are taking a cyclic ketone like this. This reaction can be done with the help of either aldehyde or with the help of a ketone. Okay, so when the cyclic ketone is treated with TiCl3 in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride, then what is happening? See here, actually this reaction happens in two steps. Okay, in first step what is happening? We are getting a diol like this. Okay, so when you are doing this reaction at the room temperature, or in the mild condition. When do you do this reaction at a mild condition or room temperature, then this reaction gives you 1 to diol like this. But when you do this reaction at higher temperature or by refluxing, if you get a sign like this, reflux, okay, if you have given in the reaction reflux, then actually this reaction proceeds again, okay, and this OH and this OH will eliminate and you are getting. Uh, alkene by this type of coupling. Okay. So, this reaction is happening in two steps. One step is this one. Okay. This step that you are seeing. 
okay this is called phenacol reaction very important thing you must understand that this reaction that is happening from here to here if you are getting from the carbonyl compound of 1 to diol then this is called phenacol reaction and when we do this reaction in the drastic conditions it means at higher temperature or by reflexing then we get a product like this it means now this carbonyl compound is changed to alkene by coupling okay then this reaction is called mac murray coupling reaction okay so now i think you get understand what is the difference between two types of reaction mechanism this is phenacol reaction and this is mac murray coupling reaction okay so now i am telling you the mechanism of complete reaction it means mac murray coupling so that you will get both the mechanism both of the phenacol reaction and the mac murray coupling reaction so see here what is the mechanism actually this reaction is a single electron transfer process okay the complete reaction is happening by single electron transfer because we are getting ti0 monovalent titanium from tiCl3 this is tiCl3 okay this is treated with lithium aluminum hydride so it is converted to titanium in zero valent state now this zero valent titanium this is a metal okay this is a metal and there is a surface of this metal okay so what is happening suppose we have given this type of a carbonyl compound okay and this is our titanium in zero valent state okay so in this manner see here single electron transfer this is single electron transfer okay so a radical is formed okay single electron transfer is happening so in this manner r r2 c o there is a formation of radical okay and this get attached on this metal surface this is the titanium metal surface titanium surface okay so now i am writing it in this manner see here this is the surface of titanium metal okay this is ti okay now this oxygen get attached at the surface okay and this is r1 this is r2 and here this is radical okay similarly another molecule will be attached like this okay now you can see this is radical and this is radical so there will be a bond formation between them all the things are happening on the titanium surface and a new bond is formed here okay now what will happen this bond will break down and this bond will break down okay so we are getting r1 r2 c double bond c r1 r2 and this oxygen coated titanium surface this is the complete mechanism okay when we do this reaction at the room temperature then what will happen this oxygen bond is not dissociated okay this reaction does not happens okay so we get the diols see one more example so that you can understand completely this is cyclic ketone okay this is treated with zero valent titanium so there is a radical formation okay similar type of molecule here will be this one a radical formation now these both are attached on the titanium surface like this and a new bond is formed between them okay and these two oxygens are attached here at titanium surface in this manner now these bonds will bro broken up okay and we will get a product like this so we are getting a alkene like this similar type of example one more example you can see here this is the compound okay and it is treated with tiCl3 and zinc cu so what will happen this is one molecule okay now i am not writing the mechanism here what you have to do just you have to make this bond okay this bond now you have to make another compound another molecule like this okay and you will have to make this bond this bond okay this is your oxygen this is your oxygen okay try to understand this is oxygen and this is oxygen then what will happen this bond will broke down and this bond will broke down okay so you will have to eliminate this one this one and now you have to make a new bond between them okay in this manner so you are getting 
this type of product okay so simple okay you does not need to do the mechanism every time you will have to make the compound in this manner now we are telling you how to do the question of get then we will see several other examples okay see here this was our question okay and this question is actually taken from the caruthers okay copy paste type of question from page number 148 okay this question is given so i am telling you firstly this question and several other examples that are given in these books i will tell you later okay so see here Actually, you have given TiCl3 Dme2 in the presence of zinc Cu. Okay, it means you have given titanium in zero valent state. Okay, this is right. Then you have given Dme as a solvent, and you have given room temperature. Now you have given room temperature. So at room temperature, actually, this is the milder condition. So the Pinnacle reaction will happen. Okay, this reaction will not proceed to the alkenes formation. This reaction will proceed to formation of alcohol so what will happen see here you have given aldehyde like this this is hydrogen this is double bond double bond o and this is hydrogen now in the presence of titanium in zero valent state what will happen this bond this bond will move like this okay so you will get c and then here you will get a radical like this c O a radical like this. Then there will be a bond formation between these two in this manner. Okay, so there will be a bond formation. Okay, so I am making here bond. See here, a new bond is formed like this, and these two oxygens are attached to the surface of titanium in this manner. Okay, like this. Now we are taking the milder conditions. Okay, so this bond will not break up. Okay. this bond will not break up and we are getting now see here we are getting here o minus here o minus okay and then in the later step this will get converted to oh and oh okay so you are getting this type of alcohol okay one thing you should remember that this reaction is not stereo specific means to say we are getting both the cis and trans diols okay so if you have given the cis product then this is right answer if you have given the trans product then this is also the right answer okay because this reaction is not stereo specific okay clearly written in caruthers that you are getting cis and trans diols okay you will get both the products but one thing you should remember that when you have given the refluxing condition then only the cis diol will lead to the formation of alkene okay trans diol does not gives the alkene because the two alcohols will be on the opposite side okay so they does not gives the alkenes only cis diol will give the alkene okay i think now this reaction is clear so you are getting this product okay so option number a is the right answer now see some more examples actually mac mari coupling reaction can be proceeded in three ways it may be homo coupling homo coupling means two same type of molecules are coupling okay or it may be cross coupling it means we are taking two different compounds and their molecules are coupling but this is very rare why because in this way we are getting several products okay we want only one product but we are not getting the desired product we are getting several products so actually this is rare but i will tell you the examples of this also because in question papers i think they may ask about the cross coupling also okay so you should know and the third one is intramolecular coupling intramolecular coupling means the coupling within a same molecule it means you have given a large chain and there are two carbonyl groups in it then they may couple together to give a cyclic alkene okay so actually it is a good medium to produce cyclic alkene i am telling you one example see here this is the compound that is given to you now it is treated with tiCl3 in the presence of zinc cu okay then what will happen this oxygen and this oxygen these are two carbonyl groups will eliminate okay this will eliminate 
and this will eliminate and now you will have to make a bond between this carbon and this carbon okay so how it will look like so you are getting this type of products okay you can make in any way okay just you have to make a bond between this carbon and this carbon okay so you are getting a cyclic ring like this cyclic alkene product okay now see the examples of homo coupling see here you have given this compound okay now it is treated with tcl3 dme 1.5 and then you have given zinc cu whenever you have given tcl3 and zinc cu always understand that there is given zero valent triadenium okay and you have given the condition of refluxing it means condition is drastic so this is actually the macmari coupling reaction see here you have given here this is a carbonyl group okay and this is the another carbonyl group okay now you can see these are very close to each other and there may be coupling between them okay so what will happen this bond will broke down okay and here this is suppose double bond o so that bond will broke down here okay so what you will get there will be a double bond formation between them okay i am making another diagram see here see here this was now this was the carbon atom and here there was a carbon atom okay like this so there is a new bond formation in this manner okay this is the double bond that is formed okay so you are getting a product like this now see one more example of homo coupling reaction okay you have given this compound okay and this is treated with zinc tcl4 thf at 110 degree centigrade microwave okay we are doing microwave here for 10 minutes okay so what will happen we have taken this compound okay this molecule and same molecule we can also take another molecule so both the molecules will couple together like this see here this is the one molecule that we have taken now you have given another molecule in this manner so what you have to do just you have to make in this manner two molecules then you will have to dissociate these two bonds okay there will be radical formation then you will have to remove this one and this one okay then you have to make a bond between these two in this manner okay so this will be your product that you are getting okay now see one more example for the cross macmari coupling cross macmari coupling means when we are taking two different molecules okay we are taking two different compounds and their molecules are now coupling together so see here what is happening these are two compounds that are reacting together in the presence of zinc tcl4 and refluxing conditions okay for 4.5 hours okay then what will happen see here these are two compounds okay just you will have to break this bond and this bond and you have to make a bond between this compound this carbon and this carbon okay so you will get this was the carbon atom and this was the carbon atom where there was oxygen we have removed that now we have to make a bond between them okay in this manner so we are getting a coupling product like this okay now i think all the things will be clear in your mind how this reaction is proceeding what is its mechanism and how to deal you with this mechanism okay so the reaction is quite simple and i have given you all the examples so that you can do yourself okay so try to do yourselves from the different question papers and if you want more lectures of this type then you can comment me and share these videos with other students thank you